How are you? Good, good. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Are you are in Vienna now at the moment? Yes, I'm in Vienna. I've been pretty much here for um, around the whole lockdown um, oh, okay. when it happened. So, so I was mostly staying here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So since March, um, were you already here in March when the lockdown started? Um, yes, yes, I was. Um, in fact, I was for about a year already here. Mm -hmm. um, and and then this this lockdown happened. So so now it's about it's about two years that I'm here um, oh, somehow. See. Yeah, but but of course, I was traveling much, much more often before before it happened naturally. Yeah, and, and how did you um, or how did you find that? I mean, what what happened uh, for you or how did you experience it? Did you have concerts that had been canceled? Uh, yeah, quite a lot, actually. Um, pretty much before it happened, I, I, I used to travel every two weeks or, or at least every month to go somewhere uh, to perform. But but since uh, since this March, actually, my, my last real um, sort of trip um, abroad was was in the end of February. Um, and, and then since March, I, I just do a few live stream concerts, um, but I didn't go anywhere to, to perform or, or I didn't perform, perform in front of the live audience. Uh, mm. So um, I would say this is the biggest change for me, really. Um, yeah. Yeah, but otherwise, I um, maybe I didn't notice it too much since I'm a pianist and um, I had periods of of staying at home practicing anyway, um, mm -hmm. and I try to practice every day right now uh, as well. So in that sense, it, it didn't change too much. Maybe not not as as much as for some other musicians or people, uh, but just yeah, in terms of performing, of course, it's a drastic difference. Yeah. Yes, I wanted to ask the, the live streaming, um, did, did you do it in a theater or in a, in a studio? Um, I do. I, I did one um, organized by the, the Music University of Vienna here. So um, it was recorded at the new concert hall. Um, and I did a few from, from my own living room. Um, where um, I, I don't have a grand piano, unfortunately, I just have an upright piano. Um, but it was when it was really uh, closed in March, that's all I could do because um, then, if you remember, everything was really closed. Yeah. And yeah. you couldn't yeah. really test anything. Yeah. So, so I got asked, for, asked from a few organizations to do it from, from my living room, actually, from, from an upright oh. piano. Yeah. It's an interesting um, experience. Yeah, I think so. And also, I think uh, um, it's it's also a good thing because it makes a, a different contact with an audience, you know, when it's from your living room. Yeah, totally. I, I would say it's 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 more personal um, in a way because it's um, sort of um, you used to think as your safe space where you where you practice um, and mm -hmm. and and it's a little bit different yeah it wasn't it wasn't so easy honestly for me because um, you get used to when you go to perform it's a different place different energy and things like that uh, it's, yeah but yeah it's, no, it's can, interesting yeah i can i can imagine you know it's this all uh this experience of also dressing up and and that uh adrenaline and, and the audience and you hear the audience and all those things combined, I think, makes that energy for the performance, probably. I don't know. I'm not a, a oh, pianist, but I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, it's, um, I think audience is definitely part of it. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say that um, that audience just completely uh, makes this work, yeah, because uh, it's uh, this adrenaline and, and this um motivation for performance i think you get it from the music piece also because uh, uh this is sort of what we are trained to do um but certainly when 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 you have audiences you feel 
um, this this connection on, on on an energetic level. Um, and I think for for, for me, it's I'm, I'm quite a sensitive musician in that sense because I can usually feel precisely what the mood is in, in the whole, you know, and things like if people are tired, for example, if 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 a lot of them had a stressful day um, and it's different with a, with a place where, where, where you're playing geographically with, with a country where you're playing. Um, so yeah, yeah, from I think this these things totally exist from uh, from the audience viewpoint. But again, we are as musicians, of course, trained to just get inspiration from from the musical piece that we are playing i think so um yeah. yeah it shouldn't shouldn't really get in a way and even i think if you feel that people are tired uh or or sometimes they they don't want to be in a concert but maybe they are forced by someone um it's i think our mission as artists to make them feel like they're not wasting their time and, oh, and, yeah. and so that they yeah. actually feel feel good maybe about it yeah that's what I think it's interesting that you can feel that you can sense the audience like that you know um and does that so affect it, your playing yeah yeah I mean ideally uh, again it 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 really should not yeah because um if for example I I, I feel some some energy from the hall that I don't necessarily like but then I still have to to give people this positive uh, positive um, energy and positive uh, appreciation of the performance. Mm, so so it's a bit of a struggle sometimes as well, uh, so, because sometimes you can feel the audience is very warm and 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 it goes easily and smoothly. Yeah, this also happens. But sometimes you can feel um, it is a, a little bit difficult, and you have to. To work with this energy mm. um yeah and i think it's maybe it happens for for all performers for for actors in the theater as well um from from what they told me for example they also see the reactions of pretty much any, anyone giving a speech i think it's the same thing you you yeah. can you look out and you see maybe not not people are really looking inspired and want, wanting to hear you but then you try uh to give the speech to make them them warmer and and i think it's the yeah. same yeah with music. but uh i i um think also on and in this uh, this is why i said about the connection um that i also get, got a different insight into the music world because i photographed the the artists um and of course i at uh with some i could go in the homes and have a coffee or they played for me or something like that. And, and you see a totally different side to the artist than what you normally see on a stage. And, and that distance was not there. Um, right. And it gave me an insight and a bit of knowledge about what your lives are like and, and, and how much uh, you put into what you do. And I know, I think classical, I think it is, we know that classical musicians are on a, on a, on a very high level and also a high standard, but I, I was never aware of all the hours and all the studying that you have to do. So mm -hmm. maybe this time, do you think maybe this time would be a, a good time for this type of connection where audiences uh, um, realize more or, or you know that there's a different appreciation uh for artists now mm -hmm. well this is a, an interesting question and uh, uh, i think that you mentioned all the hours that that, that we put into this work um on one hand i think it's it's really uh, good when people can realize that it's not something that, that comes naturally to you that it is something you have to 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 work on it pretty hard yeah because um when when usually people speak about talent they they mean that you have of course uh from the nature some gift for it and it just comes to you naturally but uh of course this talent means more 
your ability to practice and, and, and usually in my experience people who are able to really spend these hours they, uh, they usually get a bit more out of it uh, and more realization yeah, for the talent um, but um, in regard to uh, seeing artists at work I, I, I don't think it's also necessary for, for people to be able to really see this hard work uh, because I, I mean, it's my viewpoint, I can only speak from, from my artist side that I think um, I want people to, uh, to be at my concert, for example, with some feeling of lightness to say so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want them to think about all the hard hours that I put into it. Um, in a way, I just want them to enjoy it um, uh, and, and, and maybe, maybe not to think too much about about the hard work yeah mm -hmm. so so again yeah as a person I, I i appreciate and it's very nice when when people can realize that you you work hard and 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 you are not just wasting your time and 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 using your talent yeah to achieve anything uh, but from from the artistic viewpoint i think it's also fine that people just just have fun and and enjoy your concert and um yeah, I think the key is everyone should should enjoy to that stage that that they find for. Um, mm -hmm. And I mean, for for you, if you are saying it's it's interesting to see artists at work, it's great. Yeah, and 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 I appreciate it because I think there's not so many people who who are really deep into getting all the details. You know. Yeah. Um, because maybe some people just want to see the final product rather than 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 all yeah. the work put into it. Well, it's also not just about the hours, but it's just about, it's a personality, you know, it's like that, uh, that uh, a different side that I saw, or, uh, or maybe it's also because of lockdown that we, we talk differently about things, you know, that we talk, uh, connect yeah, also yeah. on a different level. Um, mm -hmm. But I was thinking that, that uh, all these wonderful personalities, you know, that I've met uh, in this time and and um, uh, yeah that you know that I thought it, it were, for me was a, a, a wonderful insight into that um, mm -hmm. but um, you yeah, started very right. young sorry mm -hmm. yeah I think what what this lockdown really changed is also our thinking because we have more time definitely to uh, to think what exactly are we doing as artists and and what what our mission is and 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 what it is for especially now since we we are having long breaks and and no ability to perform so uh so yeah it's, it's, it's these things about life more more than than about profession itself um yeah yeah um, many artists tell me that they that they use the time to to play different repertoire or to experiment a little with different things um was it the same for you as well yeah absolutely um i yeah looked at a lot of new repertoire that i would never have time before to actually look at and and it makes me quite happy it's one <laughs> one of the things that makes me quite happy about this lockdown is being able to just sit calmly um look at the things that i don't necessarily plan to perform quite soon that when there is no pressure or anything that I can just uh, look at it for pleasure and and enjoy it um, and I think it it so far it, it, it changed my repertoire quite a bit because um, also I will uh, I reconsidered while looking at pieces uh, some some of my repertoire that I will be playing more of, of certain things um, and maybe something I, I I I wouldn't decide to do before. Yeah. So um, yeah. So it's it, it it totally changed the the approach in a way um, because there is more time, more space, more more freedom in it. So it's always good. Yeah. The the more I I hear this from from uh, artists, the more I I think that lockdown was actually um, not really a lockdown time but a time of freedom you know that even though you were at home you had that uh, artistic freedom to 
to do other things. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, of course, it's good. Uh, it's in it's a positive side. Yeah, of course, there is a negative side that a lot of artists are without work and 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 it's hard to survive for them. And and for me, financially, it's also not not an easy year. Um, I managed to get around somehow, but but a lot of my colleagues are, of course, uh, looking for different jobs and 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 they have a hard time, yeah, with it. So. So it's a big negative side, but of course, if we're looking on the on the positive side here, uh, this freedom of approaching uh, different styles and different things, it's it's really a benefit. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I read that you started playing when you were six years old. So how was yeah. the what was the inspiration just uh, to, to, to do the piano? Did, do you come from a musical family or? Who was the inspiration? Uh, no, actually, my family um, were only some. They only played music for fun, uh, so it was never really a music family. Um, but we had a piano at home, um, and apparently, I, I always wanted to play it since I was very young. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and there was a new music school open just just right next to where my, where we lived. So so my parents tried just decided to give a go at it, and then somehow it it all went and went. Um, mm. Yeah, further and further, I went to special school and then to conservatory, and yeah, that's how it went. And and when when did it uh, for you? Got to, uh, with it, that you got that realization that this is what you want to do, that you want to be a professional musician. Yeah, I, it's a difficult question because um, I'm not sure whether this this moment just came like like this, like a click. Um, it's it's just that I was doing it for a while and then I couldn't imagine really doing anything else. I mean, I think when I was at at conservatory in Moscow. Um, aged about 18 or something i i probably realized there's no way back already for me um, so yeah <laughs> uh, yeah it's always um, tricky to yeah and um uh, and and this is for me now the question about the education um mm -hmm. because i hear a lot that that artists uh, don't feel valued. Do you have that sense as well? Feel valued or? Yeah. Do you think artists, uh, some artists say that, and especially during this time, they feel that the arts are the last, um, the artists are the last people to be considered. Um, and, you know, there's not, in some countries, they are not, there's not a lot of financial uh, help mm -hmm. and it's not just about the financial side of it um, but also that art is seen as just entertainment but not uh, has that importance mm -hmm. that it mm -hmm. should have yeah it's uh, i think it's it's very much dependent on the the country actually uh, because what I find really great in Austria is that uh, arts are really, it, it feels like arts take really an important place. Um, and um, here in Austria, I like that um, I never got looks saying, okay, you're an artist, then it means you're not so important as a lawyer or as a banker, for example. Um, in, when I was living in London, there was such a period in my life, I felt sometimes like, like my profession is seen somewhat secondary um, because um, uh, there were looks at sort of importance of business people and, and, and lawyers and, and, and such engineers, um, such professions. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's always tricky because um, arts are um, are hardly compatible with with a commercial structure in the society, right? Because um, uh, real art, I think, it's 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 hard to to sell it. 
at least in, in the moment where, when it's when it appears yeah maybe mm -hmm. hundred years later when when people realize the the sort of fundamental value of it it goes up but but at the moment when it actually appears it's it, it's usually hard i mean to to sort of justify as commercial value right uh, so in this strongly capitalist societies, I think it's it's a bit tricky, really. It's always funding is always a problem. Um, if we look at what we see now, even for example, at Metropolitan Opera in New York, uh, when they are not not able to to pay the musicians and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So uh, in, yeah, it's um, I, I find it's a shame that in modern societies. Um, in a lot of modern societies, I would say art is not seen as a as a primary value. Mm -hmm. But I think that art is uh, is is just as important as science, for example, because yeah. science can also um, science cannot really be. It needs to be funded. Yeah, it can't really be sold. Uh, but it keeps uh, our humanity uh, progressing and and. It, it makes us better and I think the same happens with art um, mm. it's um, in culture in general um, it, it, it helps us um, achieve more as, as humans um, and and it's good when people understand that it's just just as important as anything else I would yeah. say. Um, so I'm thinking that it is then of such importance that children are taught not just music, but dance, all, all forms of art uh, in, the, in schools, um, not to become musicians, but really to have that foundation. And the moment we do that and we have, and they have an insight and a knowledge of art, that that would be a different audience uh, when they are, uh, you know, uh, grown up and, 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 uh, be part of yeah. society. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just crucial because uh, it's, um, in my opinion, art is and culture in general is also part of what makes us humans, really, uh, because it's not just intellect and not just our uh, sort of logical thinking, but things like music. I'm sure they 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 teach us emotions. Uh, they sort of develop our our emotional intellect and our emotional thinking and any forms of art they really make uh, us think what what our life is about and 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 what what is the point of it um, and therefore i think arts are making us better as 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 humans uh, just as well as as our intellect makes us and this is all i think sort of part of, of this thing so so I, I think it's it's not just possible to to neglect arts and and, and say that that okay in intellect and for example engineering is important and and this is not i mean you can't do that because this is i think the whole mind is made up of those things um, so yeah, uh, totally. I think it's good for for those societies who understand it, and it's not very good for those societies who uh, who don't take it into account, really. Yeah, because this is what I actually uh, found when I uh, what well, that was what I was thinking about uh, when I photographed all the artists that uh, you are actually in such a great um, position in in the sense that. Um, your minds can almost deal with this situation. You know, you you in in the the path that you uh, follow, that you you become these mu musicians or or the artists. You know, you overcome things, you overcome obstacles, you are self motivated. You um, you know, there are disappointments you hear of. Uh, you know, people saying you know how many auditions they've done and failed but then got up again and and tried again and um and almost this time you know it's it's about that it's about this endurance and it's you know mental endurance and and uh, perseverance uh yeah, and and these are the skills and this is why i was thinking you know musicians seem to or, or artists seem to solve problems differently right yeah that's absolutely true 
Um, I think, yeah, uh, that's uh, a really good point that you mentioned about um, this, a lot of failures and rejections that artists have to deal with. Um, and I think it's, it's something that's really different for us because uh, usually even, even most successful, most famous artists nowadays, they had to deal with, with quite a bit of rejection. Um, and this, uh, it just trains the strength of character. Um, of course, uh, for example, in my, when I did the, a lot of competitions uh, in my competition career, um, I have, I think, about 15 first prizes, but I have, I had also at least the same amount of the competitions where I wasn't so successful. Uh, so it sort of trains, trains you to, to look differently at things, uh, maybe not take everything so seriously um, in a way. Mm. And uh, maybe yes, for us, I think especially for pianists, it's easier, as I mentioned, to deal with, with this lockdown situation, um, because in a way that's that's what that's what we train to do in our lives. Yeah. Um, as a child, for example, when when I wanted to go out and play football or something, I had to to sit in and practice. Yeah, and this is mm. uh, this sort of teaches you a little mental strength, I think, as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, so uh, it, it helps, yeah, definitely helps. Yeah, but listen, Alexander, what did you do um, in, in this lockdown time, except playing the piano? Did you, do, uh, did you oh, have an interesting yeah. hobby or did you cook or bake or yeah, do something like that? I picked quite, quite a few, actually, yeah. Um, I started, I think uh, my discovery was, was hiking for it because I, oh, okay. before, I never really had time to, to, to go and do some long hikes. Um, and now uh, I discovered the, the, the beautiful Vienna surroundings, of course, and uh, I do quite a lot of long hikes in the nature, and that's something I, I really have fun with. Um, and, and also I had a lot of different interests and, and they sort of keep keep going and for, for a few months and then, then I pick a new one. Uh, and there's things like um, chess, for example, um, photography, um, uh, wine tasting, uh, things like that. Yeah, and just oh, okay. whatever I feel like. Yeah. But I try to, to, to maintain practice, my, my piano practice, of course. Mm every day yeah so um yeah well i think um, it's good that you have time for different things you know that the, and that you explore different things yeah it's definitely nice uh, it's not what i what i'm used to uh mm. because before it was pretty much uh, almost traveling and, and practice and 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 that's it uh, yeah. most of the time and now it's it's more um I have more chance to think of, of what I actually like, what what other things there are in life. And I think it's really important again for the artists because um, certainly we get inspired from, from other things in life. And if you don't experience those things and you don't see them, it's hard to actually express yourself in music as yeah. well. So, so yes, I think it's pretty yeah. important. I yeah, I totally agree. I um, I think you know all these extra things. Uh, it it will be lovely in in years to come to look back at this and you know and even though you say you know it is hard times, but I think we will remember these types of things and you know the opportunities that we had to to just do things like that. I've started it's fermenting. Uh, yeah, I've started fermenting food. Um, uh, yeah, nice. uh, that, that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I think I've yeah. fermented probably any vegetable that there are some things around the house which are also nice uh, that I didn't think about like how how to arrange your furniture but how to uh, clean properly and, and things like that okay. yeah. Usually, I'm not really a type of this house person, but but I started thinking much more definitely about it. Since, right. since <laughs> <all>. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh -huh. yeah, I think I think everybody started cleaning and decluttering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's wonderful to see actually what's happened with nature as well, for example, because it seemed before like like it was too 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 much travel and 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 too many plane flights and and things like that. Um, and now when you go out in the nature, it feels like like it, it became cleaner somehow. There's more more animals, more birds coming out, mm -hmm. uh, which which is quite exciting, I find. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, there's definitely a lot of positive things about this lockdown we can <laughs> that we can point out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you find this this uh, this time this lockdown, the third lockdown? Did you find that also harder than the first one? Um, yeah, I would say so because um, during the first lockdown, uh, it was it seemed like it was a lot of fear uh, of the virus, um, although there was not so many cases as now, obviously. Um, but emotionally, it was like okay, this is an opportunity to just have a rest, maybe just do nothing for a while, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it was actually nice because uh, this switch from this really busy life to to having practically nothing it was it was quite nice at first uh, but then I think during autumn uh, I started getting exhausted by it a little bit uh, and I started thinking okay maybe it's time <laughs> that I should go and, and perform somewhere because I, I'm, I kind of miss it a little bit yeah, oh, so. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so, and now I don't know, we just go with the flow, I think mm. like everyone else, we just see what, I stopped following the news about lockdowns because it seems like, <laughs> like uh, it's just going on and on for <laughs> mm. I think yeah. it's this, I think it's this thing where it's, uh, you know, things got cancelled, but then in the summer it sort of slowly came back again, and then but then it's I, I think the, the the mental torture is when it's there's a concert planned and then close to the time it gets cancelled. I think everybody talks about that thing where you mentally ready mm -hmm. for it and and you know rehearsed for it and then a week before it gets cancelled. Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, most of my concerts were planned for October and November this year, and uh, obviously then uh, when when this was, was it, I think second lockdown or or something, and then it started happening, and 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 my concerts started cancelling, and um, I thought, okay, <laughs> and that's that's <laughs> frustrating. Mm. But yeah, what can you do now? I mean, mm. this. Uh, uh, people are dying, actually, so it's it's probably more important in this sense. Uh, that's yeah. that's what I keep think for myself, so that I don't regret too much about it. I mean, like I think now, if you are healthy and alive, it's already kind of not so bad. That's what I try to think to myself. Yeah. Uh, and, and concerts will will come back when when it's ready. Mm. That's what I hope I for. Yeah, I think, you know, we, we forget the, the time perspective of this uh, pandemic because it's a year uh, or, you know, maybe longer than a year, but in a lifetime, you know, when we, when we look back to this year, it wouldn't feel so long, but because we're in it, you know, it really feels long and extended. But, um, but yeah, I think if we see it in a, in a spectrum of a lifetime, then... Uh, or in a, in a full career, then uh, the year break, you know, would, would probably. Uh, yeah, probably not. Yeah. yeah, but right now we, since we have a lot of time to think about what what could have happened um, and what could have been done if not this pandemic, then it makes it difficult. Yeah. But if we just just accept what happened and and try to work in this reality, then I think it's fine. Mm. Uh, we can. It's important, I think, most of all, that we cope with it uh, emotionally and, and mentally mm. um, right now. Uh, because, yeah, 
Uh, I think the mental pressure is the biggest one for for people. And your family is in Russia, so you haven't seen them for a while. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually. My mother lives in Israel, and I haven't seen her for yeah for more than a year. And um, yeah, it's also di a difficult aspect, I think, to this is not not being able to to see your family for a long time. So um, for for me personally, it's probably the most difficult thing about this lockdown, actually. Your family, yeah. But uh, Alexandra, what is your wish for when this is all over? It's, <laughs> it's hard to imagine when now because mm -hmm. uh, it seems, um, on the news there is always some, something new happens. Uh, but I just hope that we get out of this with some experience. Um, and I hope that just this experience helps us evolve as a society. Um, and I hope we learn the lesson and, and we get out of it better and, and not worse. That's, that's my best hope for it, I would say. And do you think audiences will, will come to the concerts um, or more audiences will come or more people would be interested? Um, hopefully, yes. Um, and it would be, of course, lovely if if there is a new new renaissance to so to say of of the concerts and 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 live events and so on but again i think it's it's um, not the issue of of the pandemic really um, it's the issue of how we um, approach this these problems that, that we talked about in the in the society um, in a way that we uh, realize that arts are more than just entertainment um, and uh, if it happens uh, then it will be the best thing regardless of the pandemic um, and for me personally the more people realize uh, and strive for arts rather than entertainment or something else the better mm. uh, because I just think it, it makes all of us better yeah well i um thank you so much for your time for talking to me okay. and uh right. your insight into this whole situation um and and you know that i think really that uh, you know you are right we we they are very sad sadness about this situation like you say you know many musicians that are in difficult positions um but that you know that we we take the positive from this and as you say that you hope that the that society will will grow from this and people will grow i i also believe i don't think we can uh, none of us can get out of this untouched you know and yeah, yeah. Uh, so i think i think everybody thinks um, a lot and um and, and i'm sure I think if uh, the fact that we declutter and clean our houses means that we uh, clean our minds as well. I don't know. If I think yeah. that right. Really. If, if we do this mental declutter as well, we'll be just one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what I believe. <laughs> but I also believe that the the artists are the dreamers of the world, um, and I think that you know if you can um, if you can speak out a wish, uh, for example, that would be something that is in your mind. And, and I think the things that are in artists' minds, they usually come true. Because I mean, you started playing the piano when you were six, and now you are a pianist. So somewhere along the line, you must have dreamt of, you know, or, or, or envisioned yourself being a pianist. And, um, and I think really artists have that ability to do that. So um, yeah, uh, I mean, it's certainly when I think any person who spends a few hours um, a day and sort of sacrifice their comfort to um, achieve some things um, and then it's repeated over the years, uh, you get certain 
um, certain energy and certain sort of meditative power that that is maybe a little more than than someone who doesn't do it. Yeah. Um, yeah so, so I think in that sense, artists always were as well important, just as um, sort of voices of the society, uh, which were saying where where we are heading, where we are going, and and what's going to happen. Uh, so. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it, it just happened. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay. Thank you so much, Alexander. Thank you very much okay. for the chat. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye.